Today's spooky spot, we are having a look at the Monster 500 number 3 flat top Frank. Scary good lights and sounds. Flat top Frank, one of the four figures of the larger scale Monster 500 figures. We've already looked at two. It says try me. You press his engine, but I won't do it just yet. No, 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 I won't do it yet. I'll wait for the reveal when we get this out of package. Unleash the monster car in the free Monster 500 racing app. Spin around the side, we have Flat Top Frank. I wish these had sold better. These did not sell, sadly, very well. www.monster500.com. You can check out what's going on over there and the other larger scaled figures. We're the Zoom Zombie. Uh, number two was Lead Foot. Number three, Flat Top Frank. And number five, Crock Pot. I think there was only four, and yet they've indicated Crockpot as number five. Maybe there was a fourth. Down below it says they're alive. Look for Monster 500 code on the trading card inside the bottom of this box. Use it to unlock a monster car at the free Monster 500 racing app. Which one will you get? The only way you'll find out is to use the terrifying code. Spot's going to take a spooky break. I'm going to open this up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the Monster 500 Flat Top Frank. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. With Flat Top Frank unleashed, let's look at the contents before we get... Hey, now, before we have a look at Flat Top Frank, let's look at the contents. First things first, the more serious, scary end of it, we have to look at the instructions for changing out batteries. Remember to change out your batteries, guys, if you're going to have these only on display at Halloween, because the last fright you need is to open up the contents to change out the batteries and find out he has leaked inside. Woo! Leaky batteries is nothing to kid about. As a collector, I'm sure many people can attest to that. So, little instruction guide, changing out batteries. We have a flat top Frank card, who apparently he's not that evil. It goes to show, don't judge a book by its cover, fellas ladies out there. He's not that evil. That's also for you, right there. The Monster 500 code. That is for you. Number three, Flat Top Frank, the Lunk. He may be a little slow-witted, but he's flat out fast. When the other drivers make fun of him, Frank gets enraged, and that makes him drive more aggressively. Ultimately, he just wants to show he's as good as the rest of the drivers. His motive is belonging which I think all of us can kind of want to be a part of that. We all have that motive. Unless you're a vampire. Vampires don't tend to want to hang around with people. They're real jerks. Strength. Powerful bursts of rage. Weakness. Slow-witted. Vehicle. The Rage Roaster. Roadster. Not roaster. And quote is grrr. Now, he's a little on the French side, so perhaps my pronunciation of grrr was not correct. Finally on the back, he's not really French. Flat out fast, flat top Frank, the expert mentals, number three. Moving that to the side, let's have a look at flat top Frank. The first fright that Spot got when he opened this up, or actually just realized it when I got it, a little bit of paint, sadly, on flat top Frank's side cheek. Could be blood, could be strawberry jam but he's got a little bit of something, something on the side of his face. Very devilish look. For somebody who's not that evil, he looks like, well, he does look a little on the slow side. Just a little bit. He's happy, though, with whatever he's doing, though sinister, yes. He does look like he is enjoying himself. For some reason, the top of his hair, though spiral, reminds me of an Oreo cookie. Maybe I'm the only one that sees that, but it kind of reminds me of an Oreo cookie with a spiral on the top. His Roadster, I guess, would be, it kind of looks like an off-road vehicle, kind of like maybe a Jeep. It kind of looks a little bit like a Jeep, although a very souped-up Jeep. No license plates on the front nor on the back, but you see where the sound will be emitted from the back of Flat Top Frank's car. Dual tailpipes. And, of course, he's got the tricked-out uh, motor on the top of his car. It rolls extremely easy, as with all the other uh, Monster 500 vehicles. So, to activate the sounds, 
we're going to press just the button on the top. Probably not the best sound to first start this review with, but we'll press it again. You can hear the electricity of Frankenstein here. And finally, it sounded like a, a growl and a burp. There's only three sound effects, that's all you're gonna get. But there are lights, at least, also in the translucent red motor, which is a nice touch as well. Speaking of nice touches, check out Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster here. Flat Top Frank, what I do like about it too, is that they've incorporated the idea that he's comprised of different things, different people. His head does not match his arm. His arm is a different color than his face, and more blatantly obvious, his one other arm is purple. I would expect that to be a more deliberate approach. After all, he is comprised of different individuals. I think that's kind of cool. I like that. Another fantastic Monster 500 figure. Today's spectacular spot, we're having a look at the Monster 500 Flat Top Frank. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more spooky spots heading to you this month of Spottober. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.